What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is White Gamer, and today we got the EA FC 25 Clubs deep dive. Now, I don't know if they're going to show any trailer for it like they did with the other deep dives, but we got the actual deep dives, and it's a lot, guys. This is my first time looking at it, so we're going to read and go through it. So, they're just introducing themselves, the club associates, and let's get straight into the features, guys. So, they're going to have the rush mode, which we talked about, the 5v5. Enjoy a more social way to play clubs, 5v5 with rush. You lobby, lobby up with your friends or with random people, uh, players with your skill level. Every win earns a victory point to your club's tally, boosting your rush rank on the road for ex exciting seasonal rewards. Remember, we talked about it, guys. Rush will only be good if the rewards are good. Now, the clubhouse, guys. Your house, your rules. Welcome to the clubhouse. Your home for social interaction and customizations in clubs. The clubhouse is a hub for your team, showcasing your club's identity along with your clubmates who will appear in the locker room while they join in. The club facility, from hometown heroes to world renowned. Grow your club and unlock higher facility budget via the club's reputation system. Allocate that that budget towards different facilities like a weight room, new play styles, or even shooting coach. Guys, we talked about this in the leak last week that the club facility is most likely going to be a boost. It'll, it'll probably give you a plus five boost on shooting, plus five on vision for your player, not for the AI. So, and I guess you can get new play styles when you reach a certain reputation for your club so this club's facility is going to be interesting to see i don't think it's going to be overpowered as long as the boost is you know they keep the boost at plus five for whatever the the boost is i don't think it's going to be overpowered now league updates let's talk about the league updates and right there guys there is an image of the clubhouse the when you walk in as you guys can see it's still going to be the same leveling system you can see your club mates looks pretty sick guys and then on the left side you see the reputation or the level that your club is in now let's talk about the league update relegation returns to clubs guys so yes relegation is coming back we talked about it in the leaks it's gonna have a little bit of a twist though losing matches decreases your number of division chances losing them all and then you take part in a relegation battle one single match that will determine whether your club will beat the drop or be, or be sent down a division. So yes, they finally listened to the com community. Relegations are coming back for EAFC 25 clubs. Now, as a new menu experience in clubs, the clubhouse is a personalized social space that connects players and clubs in modern football inspired environments with the aim of faster navigation to everything you're looking for. So again, we go back to the image. In the top, you have play, you have your pro, you have your club, you have the leaderboards, and you have the club store. And they also have that shortcut when you hold left trigger and L2 to go through the menus, just like how they have an ultimate team. Now, we got social space, guys. The introduction of the clubhouse marks a significant update to how players can interact with one another in clubs. Entering clubs will now feel like stepping inside the locker room, which that's basically what it is, not a locker room. With your club mates as you get ready for the next match. It's a space where we hope the essence of your team comes to life, encouraging you to bond further as you keep playing together. Whether your club mates are gearing up for a match in the league lobby or fine-tuning their player build, you will be able to see what they're to see where they are in the mode. So that's pretty cool. So I guess it's gonna show you, I guess when you're looking around in the locker room, what your teammates are doing, whether they're editing their pro or maybe in the club store. Guys, the menu looks really sick. I really do like it. New navigation. We are excited to announce a major overhaul of the club's menu. Our goal was to streamline your navigation and make it more efficient and intuitive. With the redesigned menus, we want you to get to your desired destination quicker than ever. The introduction of Quick Switcher enables you to transition from customizing your pro to managing your club before jumping into a match lobby meaning less time navigating the menus and more time playing again that's like the thing we we're talking about they're gonna have like a little shortcut let's open this one up real quick oh it's a video guys this is actually a video let's take a look at it so you can see they have the shortcut they're going through it and guys we're gonna have to pause this a little bit and take a look and break it down you got the budget that's your facilities 
You got the league, which is going to be like the vision system. I really do like the whole revamp of the menu, guys. It feels like a complete different game. Out of all the game modes, this is the game mode that got the most, the most revamp. So let's break it down real quick here, guys. Again, you got your pro, you got the store. Right here, you got your pro, guys. And on this, this could be different, though. Come the real game, guys. Now, I don't know if we're going to have a third playstyle plus. I do hope we do. You might be able to unlock that through facilities. Now, guys, don't go based off these levels. This could change come the real game. Again, this is probably from the beta. But this could change from the real game. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six regular playstyles and two playstyle plus. But remember, this could change come the full game. Um, and it looks like the leveling system is the same. Customize your pro. Shows you your stats right there. Looks pretty clean. And then you got to customize your stadium. All that while you're in the locker room, which is pretty cool. Then you got the facility, which is going to be like some sort of boost. It might give you plus five plus shooting. And that's the budget you get. You get budget by winning games and building up your reputation. I wonder how many levels are going to be in reputation. And... That's pretty much about it, like the menu-wise. And this is how the starting 11 looks. Let's pause this again. Um, looks super, uh, again, super clean. Again, this is probably in the beta version, guys. So they'll probably show the third play style probably later on. All right, customize the club. The club I'll also showcase your club crest. Club kit, the stadium bundle, bringing the spirit of your club into the menu experience. This means you can tailor the look of the feel of your menus to match your preference and identity. Now, here's another video. Completely customized. Let's full screen it. You guys can see everything changes. The logo, the color. You know, EA, I got to give it to them so far. They did a good job. And just like the whole menu experience, guys. Definitely feels like a brand new year. And you guys can see everything changes from the logo of the floor to the, the, the color of the logo. Just your whole squad. They're just showing this. What else are they going to show? Yeah, they're just showing like the different clubs that you use and how it changes it. Looks pretty nice, guys. Again, Rush. I'm not going to go too into details because we did a separate video. There's going to be an AI goalkeeper and it's going to be a 5v5. And then let's talk about the basics, guys. Wow, this looks completely different. The basics. Club Rush is designed... I guess this is the Rush menu. Yeah, this is the Rush menu, I guess. Club Rush is designed to be accessible and enjoyable by everyone with layers of unique strategy. For those who want to deep want to deep dive into it, if you search for a match solo, the game will pair you up with other players, ensuring you, you never left off of the action. For those who like to team up with friends, EA Connect makes it... Inviting them straight forward. The EA Connect is that EA social hub when you press right trigger or R2. Club Rush will always look to ensure you have a full squad of four before entering a match. But in that event that it, a squad is full can be... In that event that a full squad cannot be found, a team of two human players minimum can proceed to the match. So this is how it looks, guys. The, the Rush Lobby. Again, on the left side. You got, I guess, your table of content. You got the division that you're in. You got for, for Rush. And then you got your actual club thing. Um, let's see if we can see anything new. Guys, there's like a new headband right there. Um, there's new tattoos. You know, I'm trying to get a little glimpse of everything. And they still have that preset for all of the other builds that you got going on. Now, whoa, this looks pretty insane. Rush player rank. Your journey through Rush... Your, your journey through Club Rush is marked by your Rush player rank, which fluctuates based on your performance and matches. Winning a game could boost your rank points, which is called RP. While I lost my see them decline. The amount of rush the amount of rank point you gain or lose is influenced by several factors, including your current rank, the outcome of the match, and the RP difference between your team and the other team. Achieving a higher rank not only brings you prestige but also rewards with each season offering incentive based on your highest ranked achieve. Importantly, rank points is partially reset each season, allowing for a fresh start while acknowledging your previous accomplishments. So again, this is again, the rush rewards. Yeah, this is a reward. This is, so it's pretty much been confirmed by EA that season one is going to be called for the club because that's a whole slogan right now. 
And guys, you can see um, in the bottom, you get, this is just an example, but you get goggles and you get club coins. And then if you finish, I guess, in a certain rank, you might get an, um, a right arm tattoo. Hopefully the rewards are better. This kind of reminds me of um, Ultimate Team, which the higher the rank is, the better the rewards should be. So this this is probably how it's going to work for like the rush, at least for the rush uh, rewards. Like I said, if the rewards are good, then a lot of people are going to be playing this. Now, club victory points. Let's talk about this. Everything you do in club should be for the club. To that end, every match won in club rush earns victory points for your club. So yeah, you get victory points and then you get rank points for your rush. Contributing to its place on the global rush leaderboards. The more victory points your club accumulates, the higher it climbs. Unlocking rewards for the club and its contributing players at the end of each season. There's also some exclusive rewards reserved for the top performing clubs. I wonder what the exclusive reward means. We're going to pause this a little bit, but this is this is at the end of the match. At the end of each rush match, it's going to give you the rank points. And then it's going to give you your victory points for your club. So they're just showing it right there. And then as a club, for those who are part of a club, Club Rush offers a chance to pro to compete under your club's banner. Wearing your kit, crash the name with pride, simply group up with three club mates to take the pitch as club and take one player from the club's solo Club Rush matchmaking pool. Whether you're defending your club's honor against other club or coming up against a group of strangers to top a mighty opponent, our goal with Club Rush is to give you a fun arena in which you can prove your powerness and express your creativity. Now, I don't know if in Rush you can level up your pro. From this video, they didn't really show it. They just show that you get the rank points and the victory points for your club. So I don't know if you're going to be able to level up your pro through Rush. I think they are, I guess. Now, the facility, guys. They're going to go more into details. Guys, this is going to be a long deep dive. It's probably going to be a long video. In FC25, we want... Managing your club to feel more impactful and authentic through the addition of facilities. Okay, facilities enable your club to grow in new and meaningful ways by developing resources that are available to all club mates. This includes everything from hiring club staff, like equipment managers, building a weight room. Each facility is a choice that can shape the way your entire club plays and develop together. Now, this is the important part, the gameplay impact. Like, what is it going to improve from your stats? Facility can be upgraded from a one-star rating to a final three-star rating. So, let's guys, listen carefully. Every one-star facility enhances two attributes to all club mates, with the attributes increasing depending on real-world applications of that facility. If your club wants to improve, this is an example. If your club wants to improve their sprint speed and stamina attributes, for example, the manager can choose to activate the running track facility. Or if your club wants to improve their vision and short pass attributes, the manager can choose to invest in the performance analyst facility. So again, this is going to require budget. You get budget by leveling up with reputation points. And then depending on where your manager wants to spend it on, whether it's on sprinting, it'll be the running track facility, or you know the performance will be for the passing. That's how it's going to work. Now, Three-star facilities, that's the highest you can get, can provide even greater attributes, increasing increases well as playstyles or playstyle plus for the full team, unlocking the potential for a seventh playstyle or a third playstyle plus. So this is going to be the one that most people are going to use, a three-star facility, because you can either get a seventh playstyle slot, a regular one, or you can get a third playstyle plus. That's what most people are going to go for, the third playstyle plus. For example, the performance analyst facility not only boosts the full team's vision and short pass, but also provides the full team with tiki taka playstyles so each club member can prioritize other playstyles in their player's build. En enhancements from facility apply to all players control club mates, not AI control club mates, guys. So the boost can only be applied to your teammates, not the AIs. So here's an example, guys, of what the three-star facility will include. So here are all like the facility for, for the three-star. So you have the equipment manager, which will boost your jumping and stamina, and it will give you a, the acrobat play style. 
The head groundsman. The attributes will be ball control and balance. You get the press proven. Performance analyst. You get short passing and vision. You get the Tiki Taka scout. You get attacking positioning and defensive awareness. Sports psychologist. You get composure and aggression. This will unlock the jockey play style. Guys, this is going to be like if you get the three star. So this this technically will be your third play style plus for any of these. So this this will be your third play style plus. Remember, because the three star facility is what will give you the third play style plus or your seventh regular play style. So keep that in mind. Then you got the sports scientist acceleration and reactions. That's what will get boosted and they'll come with the quick step. So you have to pick which one of these you want for your club. So you can either get the third play style plus or the seventh regular play style. Hopefully that makes sense. You got the defensive coach, which will be interception defensive awareness. I'm not going to go through all these guys. You guys can pause it because they're just telling you what each coach or each part of the facility does. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But yeah, guys, again, you're going to get your budget. I guess you're going to talk about how the budget is earned. As your club, yeah, reputation. As you grow your reputation through league matches or playoff and you gain fans, so does your budget. So as long as you're winning games, you're going up in the rankings, your budget will go up. And then you can use that budget to buy uh, facilities. And you can see here active facilities, entry facilities, and then activating facility. This is how the facility looks like, guys. So how to activate the facility. The managers, so it's only the managers have the ability to allocate their club's facility budget to activate various facilities on behalf of their club, each offering unique benefits to the team. As we saw on that list, you can see right here. Oh, here's the actual video, actually. All right, as you can see, you guys can see it, it says three stars. So the three stars will, the performance, for example, will give you the plus on vision and the short passing attributes, and it will give you the tiki taka play style. So this is the actual club facility. It's not complicated, guys. It might seem complicated, but Depending on which one you pick, it's going to boost your uh, your stats. I don't know if it's for, for the whole game or how it works. But see, if you go with a performance analyst, this is a one star. You only get plus two and plus two short passing or vision. This is another example. If you get the plus, if you get the two star, the two star performance analysis, analysis, you only get vision plus five and short passing plus five. So I don't think it's going to be overpowered, guys. And then if you get the three star, analysis whatever three star you pick the three star will always be a plus five on whatever attribute it is and it'll give you a third playstyle plus or it'll give you a seventh playstyle plus to use and this is an example this one costs eight hundred thousand budget so guys i kind of like this um like i said i don't think it's going to be overpowered we also got to see how it works like, if, is it for one game? Is it for the whole season? We got to see how that works. And then the FCQ tactics. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but additionally, updates to the club lobby have been implemented to improve the communication and clarity among players. Um, this is going to matter if you play, you know, divisions or you play with a bunch of AIs, but we'll take a look, a quick look at it. This was, um, this is how you're going to be able to edit your tactics for your AI and whatnot um it's gonna be pretty much the same as I, I think last year if i'm not mistaken you got the false back the inverted fullback etc etc you know this is gonna be cool for you know changing your, your ais and whatnot now league relegations guys they have a whole separate section it's a long deep dive guys let me know what you guys think so far we're always listening to the community's key community and you made it clear for those epic comeback and last minute equalizer felt more satisfying when you simply couldn't settle for a loss to end to that end we worked diligently to bring relegation back to the club's league experience with each match carrying the right amount of intense as you climb through the division however it was important for us to bring back relegation in an improved format so yeah it's gonna be a little bit different than in the past relegations to give you more control over your club's de destiny so chances in this new system each club will be allocated a set number of chances upon entering a division think of these chances as your buffer against relegation each match loss will result in the loss of one chance the real test comes when your chance are depleted and your club enters a relegation battle so i guess you got for example you get three chances and if you miss those three chances to win a game then you go into the actual relegation battle so here's an example they're showing it so you just finished your match, you lost, you lost your match, 
tells you how many points you have until you get promoted and then right below shows the chances remaining so i guess in the next example you have three chances now your next match will be a relegation relegation match a win or a draw will keep you in your current division but losing that match will result in relegation to the lower division so you have three chances to either win or draw the game if you don't then you're going to get relegated i don't know how you guys feel about that let me know in the comments how are we feeling about this relegation new system they brought it back not fully but in a different manner and then here there's just more talking about the relegation i'm not going to go into it a draw will ensure your place but will only partially reset your chance so i guess if you get a draw you you still have to i think you still have to win and this is note that clubs in the elite division will not face relegation at launch. So they might change that probably for season two. And here we get a sneak peek of the calendar or the relegation match, the lobby. They also still have the skill games in the upper right hand corner. So here's the calendar. Um, you know, and then it tells you that your next match will be a relegation match. You can view your league progress, it tells you when the playoff ends or start. So that is like the calendar and you're like going into your match now guys one of the most important things of clubs and like the main core of it is the cosmetics and customizations now we talked about it in our leak that supposedly this year they added a bunch of new uh presets and it looks like i don't know if they did but it looks way more detail not detail but maybe it can be more realistic it sucks they only showed that they didn't really show too much about it so you got the head, you got the ears, the basic things. But it says ears fit the 50, 52. So that means I think they have 52 presets, guys. Which is actually not bad. So I think they have 52 presets for all of these. Because in the past, we only had like 6 or 8 presets. So I guess they did a little bit better presets wise. And then when you select a preset, you can modify it apparently according to this. So if there's 52 presets for like the faces and the colors, that's actually not bad. Oh, here we go, boys. The club store. We're getting a sneak peek of the club store. And then they're talking about the cranium. A powerful new tool to design to give you more control over the appearance of your pro's head. And EFC, you can sculpture each individual aspect of your pro's face to give them more details and future than before. So those lookalike pros are going to be even much better in FC25 now, guys. The new pro club cosmetics. This is what I want to see, boys. Here we go. This is like a little sneak peek. So this is the club store. There's no more Volta. It's going to it's gonna be similar to the Volta shop, guys. You buy this with club coins or FC points. You guys can see. Um, it looks like they have new gloves now. They have like half a... They don't have a full long sleeve, but they have like a half a sleeve that some uh, football players use. But this is a sneak peek of it. Similar to, uh, to like the Volta shop, guys. But I just hope... I just hope that EA um, drops way more, guys. It looks like they're finally adding new gloves. Like that's something we didn't get throughout the FC24. We didn't get new gloves. It was basically the same ones. So hopefully we have some cool new items, guys. And this is the the club store itself. You got the hair. Looks like they have 74. They're probably gonna have 74 at launch. You got the boots. These are the new boots, guys. You got a bunch of different types of facial hair. You got facial accessories, a lot of masks, a lot of tattoos, guys. You're, we're going to have 68 to start it off. I already noticed some of these tattoos are old. Like this one in the bottom right-hand corner, that's old from FC24. You got, for my keepers, guys, you got gloves. Not only for goalkeepers, guys, just uh, for gloves in general. Hopefully, they have Nike gloves, man, because they, they still have that Nike contract. And you got the arm sleeves. I see a lot of people using these um, arm sleeves. We're introducing a wide a range of new cosmetic for your pro, allowing you to further personalize your player's appearance. This includes an exciting new hairstyle, headwear, facial hair, tattoos, etc. Notably, arm sleeves are making their debut. I guess we never had, yeah, we actually never had an arm sleeve, which is crazy to think. Providing even more ways to stand out during a match. All of these new cosmetics can be conveniently unlocked in the new club store, making it easier to customize your pro and create your unique stadium. New stadium items, but it's not just about the player. We're also rolling out new ways to bring out your stadium to life. Our range of new stadium bundle kits, typhoons, trophies are designed to enhance the atmosphere of your home ground. Hopefully, we can add multiple trophies this time around with intent of making every club 
match feel like a special occasion. These cos cosmetics allow you to show off your club's fandom and style, creating a more immersive and engaging experience for you and your opponents. Now, I guess, yeah, they're going to bring up more ways to customize your pro. Now, guys, the community requests features and more. So, oh my god, yes, we are getting the quick chat, guys. If you guys don't know what the quick chat is, this is what it is right here. After you score a goal or something, or something, you not even score a goal or anything. You can put nice, thanks, unlucky, quickly, without having to type or nothing like that. They mentioned it, yeah, in the Rush Deep Dive, quick chat will be introduced to Rush and clubs. It's designed to promote team communication and camaraderie through simple, quick messages using directional buttons like nice, thanks, unlucky to the teammates. Our goal is for quick chat to enable players to express how they feel, emotions, and match. In clubs, the captain can also access the quick chat by pressing down on the D-pad. The content I with this change, the traditional call for pass iconograph has also been updated to display short text messages better alerting teammates of your requests. Now, goalkeeper play style, we're not going to go over it. Um, they're all old except for one, the deflector. Not going to waste my time on that. Now, the post-match timer, I think all this has been talked to by EA. You're going to have longer time after a match to um, you know either get stats or look at highlights. The club matchmaking, when you play divisions, guys, it's going to actually consider your skill rating. The max height is going to be 6'5 for all positions. And guys, that is it for the deep dive. They didn't really talk about the leveling system, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know if the max level is going to be 100 or, or what it is, but guys... I, I like it so far. I really do. Um, I wish they would have talked about the leveling system, but it's all good. Let me know your thoughts, guys. These are all the new features and just all the features in general in EAFC 25 Clubs Deep Dive. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.